is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And being here in northwestern Colorado Springs, the Rock Rim area, we get a lot of uh, wildlife visitors. There's been reports of bears. In fact, our photojournalists have seen them outside the back door and plenty of deer and rabbits. And this one taken by our very own Andy Cohen. It just cracked me up, said a KOAA TV guest when he emailed it to me. And that's right, the deer may be trying to hide behind the light pole. We were joking about that in the commercial break. But nonetheless, that's right by our front door here at the station. Now, nice start to the weekend for everyone to get outside and enjoy these mild temperatures and sunshine. We're going to continue on that trend for your Sunday as well. Many of us off of work and school heading towards MLK Day on Monday. And men, Monday does bring in some colder weather to the region and some snow showers by Monday night into Tuesday morning. And it looks like this could be a pretty nice snowmaker for the mountain areas. I think the wets and the sand grays could stand to see anywhere between 6 to 12 inches of snow in that two day period. Not going to see that much here in the springs, but maybe a couple of inches before it's all said and done. Outside on this Saturday afternoon, we have 46 degrees with some fair weather clouds moving across the southern Colorado sky, seeing generally sunny skies a little farther to the south where we're sitting at 51 outside on the Saturday afternoon in Pueblo. Upper 40s in Canyon City with a few clouds out there and some filtered sunshine. Winds here at about 8 miles per hour coming out of the north northwest. And for Trinidad, temperature outside sitting at about 41 degrees. Now we did see some early morning snow showers across the mountains of Colorado and a few inches did collect across uh, some of those ski resorts up in the uh, I-70 corridor out towards Eagle and some counties. But that system continues to move away and that's going to be the case on Sunday as we'll find ourselves between that departing system and the next one that comes in heading towards MLK Day. So there will be some variable clouds, especially up towards the mountain areas. Teller County likely sees a mix of sun and clouds, but areas east of the mountains will see mostly sunny skies and some pleasant afternoon temperatures starting out in the upper teens in Pueblo, but working our way up to around 50 in the afternoon and for the springs expecting a high into the middle to upper 40s. So Sunday looks nice. We do get some snow showers that move back in by Sunday night and Monday morning for the mountain areas, and that's mostly where we'll see the snow showers during the day. But look what happens here as I put this back into motion, stopping a Tuesday morning, starting to see more widespread snow, at least the potential for it. And that's why we're calling for areas of snow across most of the News 5 viewing area, except maybe out into the eastern plains Monday night to Tuesday morning, and then the snow showers diminish as we make our way into Tuesday night and Wednesday. So your urban eye lows tonight with partly cloudy skies. We'll see some teens out towards Pueblo and some single digits out to the southwest. West Cliff 9 tonight, 20 in the springs. Your highs tomorrow pretty similar to what we saw today and really a nice and beautiful mid January afternoon. But MLK Day is going to be about 6 to 10 degrees colder across the region. The snow comes in Monday night to Tuesday morning for now going with a one on the impact scale. And then we see a rapid warm up heading towards Wednesday, Thursday. Pueblo upper 40s giving way to lower 40s on MLK Day and some 30s on Tuesday before those 50s come back Wednesday, Thursday. Canyon City nice and mild and breezy Sunday, but some snow and colder air moving in on Monday night and Tuesday. And for Woodland Park, temps here in the 40s with some gusty winds Sunday, but we are down to a high of just 27 with snow showers early on Tuesday morning.